Welcome to Subramani. Not a very uh, great topic to talk about, but long-term care is something which all of us has to consider. All of us have to consider uh, as to whether we will need it, how will we get it, how will we fund it, who will do it, right? So first of all, let's define long-term care. Long-term care is when you need help. Uh, to do your day-to-day -day activities. It could be banking, it could be bathing, it could be going to the toilet, it could be any of those, wearing your dress, taking, remembering to take your medicine, right? All those things are part of long-term care. If you need help in any of these areas or in most of these areas, you need long-term care. So this is the non-medical portion. So this is not covered by any medical insurance. So you think, oh, I've got 50 lakhs of medical cover. Nothing is going to cover this. And unfortunately, in India, long-term care cannot be insured. You In the US, you can buy long-term care insurance, but that is also going down and it is getting far more expensive. But in India, there is no such choice available. You just can't get long-term care. So the question to ask is how many of us will require long-term care? The numbers are not on your side at all. Uh, in the US, about 70% of the people require uh, long-term care. So which means out of the 100 people watching here, there will be 70 people who will require long-term care. And you could require long-term care at a much younger age if there is some uh, major illness. Somebody who has uh, got a paralytic attack at 52, or somebody who's got dementia at 54, right? All these things do happen younger. The diseases have come younger, right? So if you've got Alzheimer's or any of those things, you are going to require long-term care. Chances are if you are married, your wife and perhaps your children will provide you some of this at home. However, it is not something which is going to be sustained for a very long time because your spouse and children uh, will be at their wits and handling this. So you are going to require outside help. You will require hired help. Your spouse, let us assume for a minute that the man who needs it and his wife is looking after him. It is extremely uh, stressful to look after a person with so many problems. Right? And so many things to do and their wife may not be strong enough to lift you and take you to some place if you refuse to walk. So yes, you are going to require outside help. Yes, life, uh, the insurance is not available for this. And if you try to create this uh, infrastructure inside your house, it's going to be far more difficult than living in a geriatric care center. We don't have enough of geriatric care centers. We don't even have enough of senior citizen homes. Geriatric care is far more sophisticated. It requires uh, trained nurses and the ratio of uh, patients to staff in geriatric care is 1 is to 3. So if, they were, if you have to keep 100 patients in your geriatric care, you will need 300 staff. Uh, why do you need so much? Because geriatric care means uh, you, 24 hours you may have to be with one person. If not 24, at least 12, 13 hours you have to be with one person. Right from bathing, brushing their teeth, uh, many of these things they will require to going to the toilet. Many of these things you will have to provide. Also, it is not easy to just cook food in general and uh, serve it and people will come to the mess and eat it. That's not going to happen. So the caretaker appointed for person A will have to feed Mr. A, right? Then uh, B will have a caretaker who will feed Mr. B. So food has to be cooked, food has to be uh, put into each plate, right? Created and then you have to go and feed the person. This is all time consuming, so you require a lot of people. Having said that, you require a lot of people and real estate being expensive in India, geriatric care cannot be cheap, right? So geriatric care will be expensive. Now suppose somebody offers you geriatric care at say 75,000 per month, is it a good rate or a bad rate? Well, it depends on where you are, like if you are in a big city, say Bombay, Coimbatore, Chennai, Pune, Hyderabad, any, any place, real estate is expensive, so real estate has cost you money. Also getting people, training them, making sure that they don't form a union and charge more and more, right? All these are challenges, so nobody wants to run a geriatric care. So if you are in middle of Maharashtra and you want geriatric care and assuming for a minute it is available only in say Kerala or available in some part of Pune, 
you have to make a choice whether you want to go to kerala or whether you are happy making the choice in pune depending on price depending on where you know people right based on all that so uh, knowing that we will all require uh, the uh, uh, geriatric care 70% so you have to assume that you will be within that the alternative of dying early is also not something which people want to say oh i i i'd rather die now rather than wait and uh, uh, all wait to see all these things happen requiring geriatric care but unfortunately or fortunately nothing is within our hands so we have to be at least prepared for it so go if you are 50 or above 50 go around shopping and see where is good geriatric care available and promise yourself that you will go there at the age of 82 or 84 or something at some stage you will just go there you will not wait for some signal to go there you will not wait to fall down in the bathroom break a leg lie unconscious there for 12 years and then decide i will go to a geriatric care place right so based on all this you make your call it's not going to be very easy estimate how much time it will take to recover uh, i do think that uh, people who don't have children etc have a lot of money should move into a geriatric care center before the people who have children move out right uh, so i don't think any other way of addressing this is there we don't have medical insurance uh, sorry we don't have long term care insurance so based on all this go and estimate how much money you have how much you are likely to need what happens if one person gets a, gets cancer or things like that how much can the other person do so uh, therefore hiring somebody to take care of the patient and the uh, caregiver right all these are challenges that will happen but make sure that you come out in flying colors thank you